What it do? What it do? What it do, man? Check it out. So, I wasn't going to let me not having a haircut not make this review. So, check it out. I got fresh, went to the store. Well, okay, I'll tell you the story. Are you, you want to know what we're going to review first? All right, let's just go over what we're going to review. I posted it on a short film. I couldn't wait. I had to do it now while it was all on my, on my mind. So, we're going to go over Zherzhov's Naxos. This was sent to me by uh, Russell Mack. So, Russell Mack. You know, big shout outs for you sending me this. If it wasn't for you, I probably would never put my nose on this fragrance. So um, let's go over the story and why I decided to make a review. So I'm sitting here and I'm just messing around. I'm like, man, what do I want to do today? I want a barbecue. It's not too hot. It's like in 55 degrees or something like that. It's supposed to drop later on though. But I was like, all right. So I went ahead and took two chickens out of the, fr out of the freezer. I got that thawing out. And I was like, man, what can go good with some barbecue chicken? I'm going to make some charro beans. So I go look in the kitchen. I needed cilantro. I needed jalapenos. I needed tomatoes. I had the beans. I just didn't have all the ingredients I needed to make them how I wanted it. So I was like, well, I'm going to take a shower and then uh, I'll go to the store. And I needed to get dog food for Lola. Shout out to Lola. But um, yeah, so anyways, out of the shower and I spray, you know, and then... uh. I wonder where my wife was at. I forgot. Well, anyway, she ended up being, she ended up going into the room and then coming back out. She's like, hey. I was like, yeah. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm fixing to go to get the stuff for the beans and the dog food. And she's like, well, why are you trying to, why are you trying to smell good for? Like, I didn't put nothing on today. So I just decided to, you know, put something on. And it just so happened that I went through my little decants and I was like, you know what? It's a good time to try to rock this one. Out of the atomizer, it smells good, but when you spray it, oh my God. But anyways, back to the story. She's like, you ain't finna be going over there anywhere like that without me being with you. Smelling all good. But one of our sons is feeling sick, so she's like, well, I gotta stay home. So that's what happened. So Miss Tax likes it. She, What she just told me a few, like a couple minutes ago was like, she says it smells really, really good, really nice, and it doesn't smell like any of the other basic, I guess you would call like basic stuff that I wear, like Mont Blanc or, you know, like Coach or something like that. So it didn't smell designer-ish. And I was like, well, you know why? She's like, why? Is it one of those expensive ones? I was like, yeah, it's a niche fragrance. She's like, it smells really, really good. Like she's, she really liked how it smelled. So um, I'll post the notes somewhere. Maybe do a side. I think it's easier for me to do a side-by-side -side screen when I do my edits. But um, I'll read them for y'all. Uh, top notes, lavender, bergamot, and lemon. Middle notes is, this is what I really I really enjoy is the mid, is the uh, the honey, cinnamon, the cashmere, and the jasmine, sambac. And then in the base notes, it's going to be uh, tobacco, tonka bean, and vanilla. So I really think what I'm really digging out of this is the, I think it's the honey. The honey gives it this, I don't know. It's something I've never, I don't think I've smelled in a fragrance like that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've smelled something like that, but it definitely, it has to be honey. I know what honey smells like. And that it has a, like when you eat honey, that little aftertaste that it gives you, it's not bad, but that's what this smells like. If that makes any sense for anybody who's tasted honey and we have like local honey because we're in the country. So, you know, anyways, but yeah, man, this stuff, I don't even want to, I don't even want to spray anymore. Just, oh, cause this, this is all I got. So I'm definitely going to savor this for another special. Well, this wasn't even a special occasion. I just really wanted to give it a full wear and try it out. But I'm probably going to lean towards saving my chips for that. That's really, really nice. I got a birthday coming up in May. So maybe maybe for May, my birthday, I might save my chips and get that. I don't know. So that's my, uh, I guess, my first impressions on Zherzhov. Naxos it gives me something to drop on a Sunday anyway, but um, yeah, man, like I said, big salute to to Russell Mack. If y'all haven't been on his page, which I'm pretty sure all of my subscribers are subscribers of his, but in case somebody new comes along, be sure to check out Solomon's Vineyard. Uh, he does a lot of live streams. I show up, you know, I pop up from time to time on the live stream, but a lot of times I'm in the comments. Well, most of the time I'm on screen, but I stay in the comment section too. But man, we have great conversations in, in on on the live stream and in the in the uh, in the comment section. It's kind of like two different things going. So uh, 
yeah, so y'all be sure to check out Solomon's Vineyard. And I think that's all I have for right now, unless I come up with something else and I decide to make another video. But uh, yeah, appreciate y'all's time. I'm out. Later.